finally the nice weather is here again so we started to work on the garden and just tidy up the space on the patio Hello guys, welcome back for another cleaning inspiration and if you are new here, my name is Noemi. Today I am going to start in the kitchen, I am just going to put away all those clean dishes. I have got some questions about how come I don't use my roll up dish rack and I still have it, I use it only if I have less of a dish but when I do a bigger cleaning and just I have more dish to wash I like to use that because I have wooden plates and the wooden plates if they are soaking in a wet surface they will just get damaged so that's why I have this one now because it keeps it up in the air and it can just drip all the water and then I'm just going to give a very quick cleaning with my favorite brush this brush is amazing it makes my life easier in the kitchen I can scrub faster and I can get into little corners that it would be hard to get in there otherwise I cut some branches from outside from my garden it's always something that just brings life to the kitchen or wherever I want to put this and if you are like me that you have a hard time to keep alive plants this is a perfect alternative the next thing I started to make is coconut milk I haven't bought coconut milk for a very long time because it's super easy to make I just need a little bit of a hot water and I like to use hot water so it distracts all the oils and then I pour it over all the cold water and then I mix it for 10 minutes Actually that was more like 5 than 10 minutes. <laughs> if I put on high 5 minutes is enough and I have another bag that I'm going to pour it over and just squeeze out all this nice coconut milk and it's ready to use. I like to keep it in the jar in the refrigerator and it's good up to 3 to 4 days. The leftover fiber from the coconut flakes I'm going to use that for creating a breakfast bar and if you haven't seen the video that I made it was what we eat for breakfast for a, a week and I will link it down below for you guys so you can check it out because I shared how I did this breakfast bar. to use some dish soap from Costco and I have some vinegar from Costco as well and this is optional you don't have to use the essential oil but I wanted to add to this so it will smell nice and it's kind of have a fun nice color so I'm going to just reuse this bottle that I had and I like it because if you squeeze it you can just get out the liquid very fast so that's why I love this bottle and I just mix half of the 
bottle will be vinegar the other half is gonna be dish soap and I just gently shake it together This mixture I love so much because I can use it for so many things. This is my main cleaner. I can scrub the top with that, the sink, I can use it in the toilet bowl and just you just name it, I can use it for everything. Even if I get a stain on my clothes, I can use that mixture. And to rinse it off, I'm going to use my charcoal infused rag and the reason I love that because it soaks up so much of the water it absorbs really well and since I'm just rinsing off everything it doesn't leave lint behind for the mirror I have the mixture that I shared many times before is 50% of rubbing alcohol and 50% of water and it cleans it very nicely and also it sanitizes the areas that I want to focus on Although the rubbing alcohol has so many VOC in there, it's really damaging if you breathe in. So I'm trying to be careful and mindful about it and I don't use it too often, but since we have to sanitize more, I prefer that mixture now. But I got some new bottles, so I'm going to keep one for this rubbing alcohol mixture and the separate one with a vinegar that is perfectly fine on the mirror as well. So I can just use the rubbing alcohol for the disinfecting purpose. If you want to really protect your head, here's a safer option to sanitize and disinfect. It is called the Pure Green 24, but I had a hard time to get this from Amazon and, and from the website as well because we all know <laughs> everything was gone from the internet for a while but now I was able to find these little ones so I like to use that because it doesn't have any smell it it's a non-toxic one so it's much better for my head so instead of the rubbing alcohol I'm going to use these guys I had to pull out my big gun <laughs> I had to use this big brush because over the weekend and in the last couple of days I had to do a bunch of outside work and basically the whole inside the whole house was just really set on the back burner and I couldn't keep up as much as I wanted to so now I'm paying the price of that because I had to scrub more When I do a deep cleaning in the bathroom, especially at night, I like to put a little bit of a vinegar into the tank and just let it sit there. Preferably when I know that we are going to sleep so no one will flush for a while so the vinegar can work. As I mentioned before, sometimes we like to rearrange things around in the house so we can find better solution how to use it and how to have my boys feel comfortable and today my older son wanted to move his train table into my office.
the last step is to take back all the towels that are dry now and just hang them and it's gonna be ready at night when we wanna take a shower Since I was doing laundry, I decided that I'm going to take off these pillow covers and I'm going to give them a good wash and I'm just going to air out the pillows, I'm going to put them out to the sun. The next day in the morning I started to fix the bed and I remembered that yesterday night I had a bunch of laundry in the dryer but I just left it there so what I like to do when I don't have the energy to put away the clothes at night I just leave it in the dryer I don't take it out and then in the morning I just turn it on just for a little bit just to warm it up so the wrinkles can go out from the clothes and then I'm going to start to fold them when it's still warm so that way I can avoid that part. Guys, sometimes sleep is in priority. <laughs> so I just started to finish things up that morning. the bigger pieces and the boys are very good matching on all the socks and just the smaller items and they are going to put away the clothes Do you have any chocolate there? Do you have a chocolate there? No, no. Chicken Not the next to your socks. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoy videos like that, don't forget to subscribe. You can click on the screen and you can keep continue watching. See you guys soon. Bye!